Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video and I wasn't planning on making this video But yeah, I got out of the shower like literally 10-15 minutes ago Went on social media and see that Stuart Downing has officially left Border for Blackburn Rovers Now I did announce this one yesterday I said it's pretty much going to happen And now it's happened um, Don't call me sick math but I can predict the future But yeah, basically Downing's got the Blackburn Rovers one year deal It will be managed underneath Border legend Tony Mowbray Shoey Downing, um, you know, boiled, boiled, boiled lad from Pally Park in Butter. Um, big up Shoey Downing. Thank you for everything you've done, Shoey. Uh, your service to Butter. I say to him, mate, came for as a youngster. He's here throughout his youth years. Um, of course, he left the Butter to go to other places. But of course, you know what I mean? Butter fans always remember Shoey Downing. He came back, and I think the season just gone. You know, Butter fans are a little bit angry at the fact that maybe he's like saying him and sort of he didn't do anything. But, you know what I mean, he played his part whilst he was here. Shoey Downing. He went on to win the car in a couple of bullets in 2004. He played that ball in to, Mac to Macaroni's head that against Stuart, well, against Stout Bucharest. That pulls him to the 2006 UEFA, UEFA Cup. Um, and I say, my Stuart Downing for me. Does he go down as a legend? I don't know if he will go down as a legend. I think he'll go down as a player that, you know what I mean, he's from the local area. I mean, he gave it all to Butter. And for that, thank you, Stuart Downing. Thank you for your service to the club. Um, based on the whole move, it's a free transfer on a one-year deal. He's 34, he turns 35 on the 22nd of July. That's off Wikipedia, so I don't know how true that is. Um, and last season, he played 40 games and scored two goals for us. Stewie started off on the left-hand side. That's where he used to normally play. He played towards a sort of camp position, that sort of attacking midfield role. He played on the right a couple of times, but mostly it was either through the middle or on the left-hand side. And I think at Butter, sometimes inside the Premier League, he played left wing back, he played left back. He played in behind the striker at times at different clubs. Uh, Downing was a very much sort of like an attacking player. It took through his whole career then until he's joined Batman over Rovers today. Um, he first came to, well, I should say, you know what I mean? He obviously made a breakthrough. I think he made his debut for the Butter against Ipswich Town away, I believe it was. Um, and that was a few years back. I say, you know what I mean? Well, first, first spell at Butter, he was here from 2001 to 2009, a long time with the club. Um, and in that time, he had 181 appearances and scored 17 goals. He then went to Sunderland on loan in between the 2001-2009 spell. He actually went to them the 2003-2004 season, um, playing seven and scoring three. And then he went to Aston Villa for 10 million um, between 2009-2011, playing 63 games and scoring nine goals. He then went to Liverpool for 20 million uh, in 2011-2013. Making 65 appearances and scoring three goals, he then moved on to West Ham in 2013 to 2015, making 69 appearances and scoring seven. And then of course he came back to Butter 2015 till today 2019, 150 appearances and nine goals. And as I said, John means honours with the Butter, but obviously against the Carnival final, winning the Carnival Cup, um, even though he was a sub. And of course, the UEFA Cup final 2006, where Butter got beat 4-0, but he still got there as an achievement with the Butter. Uh, went on to win things at Liverpool, etc. And Stuart down for me, the things I will remember him as a butter player. It's a bit odd to think that he's like, like you know what I mean? Crazy thing, he's 34. I mean, listen, I was watching Stuart down in when he broke through to the first team when I was a kid, when I was like nine years old, and he was in that first team. I remember watching him then thinking, he's going to be class. I remember his name, well, normally him and Adam Johnson wasn't in the butter. Got Johnson moved on, went to Man City, down in the middle of Dustin Villa. But when them two were there, them two wingers were class at the butter. We always just talk about when we would just swap wings. Every now and again, but Shuey Downing, you know, he was like, people might not call him loyal to the Butter, but I think he was loyal to the Butter in one respect. In the respect of, you know what I mean, he came through the Youth Academy, he could have moved to Tottenham, didn't go, you know, he stayed with Butter from 2001 to 2009. Yeah, okay, he went away, bettered his career if you want, you know what I mean, Butter got relegated, he went back to the Premier League, Aston Villa, and then, of course, came back to the Butter, got more with the Butter as well against Brighton that final day. Got relegated with the Borough as well. Stayed with us and then of course now you know, he moved on a free transfer to Blackburn Rovers. Last season, you can see that his legs were kind of going to the Championship. Will he, will he do very well at Blackburn? I'll, listen, I wish him all the best in the future. I mean, nothing against Stuart Downing at all. Um, if anything, I respect him. Um, Stuart Downing. Do you know what I mean? What career he's had. Do you know what I mean? He's played for Liverpool. who are a massive, massive European team. He's played for Aston Villa who have a fantastic history. He's gone to West Ham. Bowling ground, Upton Park, um, do you know what I mean? That's used to play at. You know I mean, historic stadium, if you like. So, do you know I mean? he's had a decent career. Do you know I mean? You can't say he hasn't. Do you know I mean? He's played with some fantastic players in his career as well. The likes of Steven Gerrard, who's probably one of my most favourite players ever growing up. Um, do you know what I mean? He played with him at Liverpool. 
And Villa, he played with various different fantastic players there. But Liverpool, you know I mean, look at Liverpool, shoot it down play for Liverpool. Liverpool are like a European giant. Um, and to say that he's from the Borough and he played for them, but I'm proud to say he's from the Borough and play for them because you know, players, that, players that break through and play for the Borough don't get enough recognition for me. Do you know what I mean? But he even made it to the England team. Um, he made it to he made it to quarterfinals, quarterfinal Euro 2012. Stuart Downing from Pally Park from Butter was part of that team for England. And for me, do you know what I mean? I'm proud for him. Um, and like I say, I wish him all the best for the rest of his career. When he retire after his years up at uh, Blackburn Rovers, by then he'd be in the year of 36. Will his legs fully go? Will he save that tail? Will he drop down like Ryan Ledbetter did to League One, League Two? You never know. Do you know what I mean? But it is. I mean, you see so many of these players that retire and say, do you know what I mean? Maybe, he's, maybe he's, I should have dropped down a level. You never know. Blackburn might even get relegated this season. Who knows what will happen with them? But, uh, you know what I mean? He's now there with Tony Mowbray. What a legend, Tony Mowbray. What, a, what an absolute legend to be coached by. And as well as him, um, Chapman's there as well. So, do you know what I mean? A few ex Borough players there. ex Borough manager. ex Borough legend. ex Borough captain managing. Yeah. That's it. I wish him all the best in a one year deal. And it's fair play to him. And like I say, Downing, I've seen him score many, many goals at Butter. Um, one against Chelsea, I remember, on the left-hand side. Took it on with his right foot and put it in the bottom corner. One against West Ham in the cup and he bent it straight into the top bin. It was against Doncaster in the first game of the season. We beat him 2-0. And I believe it was against the South Stand, the outside in the East. Right foot again, top corner. I'm trying to think where else I've seen him score. Man City in the 8-1. Um, the ball he played across the Jimmy Floyd last night against Newcastle to level up the scoreline. The ball into the seal macaroni would be the one that I always remember. Um, and to be fair, I have the picture above me up here. Obviously, he crosses the ball in. Macaroni not doing with his head. That whole night, that whole game. Downing's impact in that game. And Downing's impact throughout his younger days at Butter. But absolutely sensational, do you know what I mean? He was absolutely fantastic. And I remember when big teams wanted him for big money. And uh, every time he said no to say the Butter, of course, Butter went down. And then he went better in his career. It is what it is, do you know what I mean? But listen, he came back to try and that was get promoted. He achieved promotion with the butter. That's what he came back to do. I mean, he achieved it. Okay, we got relegated. Nobody wanted us to get relegated. I'm sure he didn't want us to get relegated being a butter boy. I'm sure it hurt him just as much as it hurt us. But fair play to him. He came back. He helped out. He stuck with us even when we got relegated. When probably he's listening, he could have moved on because he was still in his. He was, in, he was still playing well. I mean, he still had the legs for the Premier League back then. But now, I think Championship, yeah, okay. This season is maybe his level. But I've been looking at it thinking, if I was a Blackburn fan now, I'm thinking, okay, yeah, he's came back in. They're kind of rebuilding at Blackburn a little bit. Two decent wingers now. Chapman, the pace, with the skill. And Downing, who could obviously help him. And sort of give a bit of experience to Chapman as well. Although Chapman's injury prone, he's still got Downing there to try and help him. Um, and that's what I see at Blackburn. And with them two on the wings, if they can keep them both fit and keep them playing together and playing, and playing well, they might be able to do a little bit this season. Do you know what I mean? You never know. Do you know what I mean? They might be able to do a little bit this season with them two players, but... As a Downing, I've got absolutely nothing against him. Um, total respect for him, Stuart Downing from Pally Park. So he broke out and now look where he is. So he played for European Giant. Yeah, okay, he's gone to Blackburn. Blackburn won the league. Don't forget, so he's still going to a big club in Blackburn Rovers. Will he drop down next season to League One, League Two? Will he go that far? Will he say next season, I want to keep on playing? Who knows? But fair play, Stuart Downing. Fine for everything you've done. Um, and like I said, I mean, I've, I've, listen, man, I was a massive fan of your career, but uh, I followed your career throughout your years at West Ham. Um, your Aston Villa, your Sunderland, even even though even though I don't like Sunderland, I still followed your career at Sunderland. Do you know what I mean? He's been on a right good path throughout his professional career, and uh, yeah, like I say fair play to you, mate. Good luck for the future. Good luck to Blackburn Rovers this season as well, along with along with a few uh, ex Butter players and of course the ex legend Tony Mowbray. People, social media links all down in the description. Go and follow me on them, and uh, yeah, Stewie, good luck, and uh, fuck the butter.